Hello class! Today's video is very important. Today we're gonna be learning how to save lives. I feel like this one's common sense, but a lot of people don't know about it. But you can call 911 from anybody's phone, even if the phone is locked. You don't need a passcode or anything. You can still call 911 in emergencies. Also, make sure you know the emergency number when you travel to other countries, because it's not 911 in other countries. So make sure you check that out, okay? Or fight me. Mm. Band-Aid hack. Oh, fancy, fancy. So instead of wrapping the band-aid all the way around, you know, so it gets like loose and messed up, you just cut each side of it and then crisscross it. That's real cute. Somebody got a lot of time on their hands, okay? That's actually a really good idea. I'm not even mad. See, again, this one sounds like common sense, but apparently it's not. If you're stranded in the snow, fight the urge to eat the snow to stay hydrated because you can get hypothermia. She's like, I'm cold, but I'm also thirsty. But if I eat too much, snow, my insides will freeze. Ain't nobody want a frozen spleen, okay? If you're ever stranded in water without a flotation device, use your pants. Okay, so the only certain kinds of pants are gonna work. Well, what if you're not wearing pants? Well, then you're just gonna die. So basically, tie the legs of the pants together and then whip them around for air and then hold the waist closed with your hands. Wham, bam, yes, ma'am. You have successfully prolonged your life. I don't think it's gonna work with my leggings. It's okay, I'll just accept my death. If you happen to be in a car and Thanos did his snap and suddenly your driver is gone and the car drives itself into the ocean, what you do? You're stuck in the car. Whatever you do, if you are in a car, in an ocean, lake, sinking water, do not, whatever you do, open the door. You don't open the door. Do not even touch it. You gotta roll down the window and climb your way out of the window. It's the only way. If your seatbelt doesn't come undone, lay your seat back and slide right out of that bad boy. If the window doesn't slide down, you gotta break that window. Like, kick it, punch it, ooh, in the face. The window, not the camera. Another important life hack, whenever you are in a place with a lot of people, whether it's a concert, an airplane, a mall, a convention, always find at least three exits. Like, always know your exits. And this is something that I am just finding out. Like, I never have thought about this. Like, in case of an emergency, something goes wrong, and you have to evacuate, make sure you know where at least three exits are. So if one is blocked off or one is stuffed, you got two more backups. Like, if something bad happens, it's gonna be too late to like look for an exit. Like everybody's gonna be going crazy. You just wanna try to get out of there. Everybody else is trying to get out of there. So this is extremely important and it could save your life. I don't know why I'm hitting my hand so much to emphasize saving lives. <gasps> Save lives, not palms. <laughs> okay, so I always wondered this. So if your arms are duct taped together, how do you get them out? There is a very simple motion that you do and I wonder if this actually works. <laughs> Ooh, y'all see that? If this dude in a short sleeve button up can do it, you can too. Now let's see if these hacks actually work. Okay, here we go. Ooh, ooh, that ripped a little when I did that. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, it really hurt, but it actually worked. So if you're stranded in the wild, knowing if a storm is coming can save your life. I mean, you could look up at the sky, see if there's any storm clouds, or you could put your drink down. And if there's high pressure, it'll push bubbles to the edges of your drink. That means it's gonna be a good weather day. But if the bubbles gather in the middle, you better make yourself a hut. Find cover. But also, where are you gonna get a tall Starbucks mocha frappuccino when you out in the wild to check the pressure? <laughs> I'm just gonna stay in my house, you know, where I'm safe. Hey ladies, if your man ever gases up the room, or you know, any other kind of gas, deadly gas, remove your bra and use it as a gas mask. I'm a guy, what do I do? You die. Let natural selection do its thing. I'm just kidding. You know, a bra got two cups. If a girl cuts it in half, you got two gas masks. Genius. Now all you gotta do is find yourself a girlfriend. Imagine you were stuck in this situation and the only girl wearing those shirts that say no bra club. Well, sucks to suck. <laughs> okay, another one that I have never ever thought about because I hate these little things that you have to like squeeze. Do wrist exercises every single day. This is something I don't do that I need to do because I think about this a lot. What if you're in a situation where you fall off of something, you have to grab on, you have to hold on, I have no upper arms 
strength whatsoever and it bugs me. I'm working on it, okay, and you should too. But there's so many like emergency situations where you have to like hold on to something. You have to be able to support your body weight. You need to hold on to a ledge. Like what if something happens? Like you gotta be prepared for this stuff. And most people aren't. So here I am warning you while you sit there eating your hot Cheetos. Like mm, I ain't never gonna be in that situation. You don't know that? It's like for real though, how long can you hold on to like a ledge if you have to? Like you hold it on for dear life. I don't think I'll be able to hold on for like more than a few seconds. Like goodbye world, I, I, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> but I hope I get some superhuman strength before I let go of this life. So when you're walking alone at night in a dark alleyway or just anywhere where you feel like somebody is following you or you sense danger, people tend to lower their head and increase pace when they sense danger. No, 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 you should never do that. And see, I read about that a lot. Like, you should never walk, like, looking down and nervous. You should always walk, mm, chin up, and slow down. Don't be walking fast, because then they know you know what's up, and they gonna get you. So, like, it's all in the walk. You could talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? Next time you get up off your chair to get some more hot Cheetos, practice your confident walk. Like, mm, chin up. Like, sup. <laughs> it is not a confident walk. I'm sitting. Nice try. This one's not a hack, but just good old common sense. Don't text and drive. Unless you got a Tesla or a car that can drive itself. Don't do it. Like, you are risking so much. And it's like, when you sit and think about it, it's like, you don't realize it. Like, you could hit somebody. You could die. They could die. Their family could die. This could literally ruin your whole life. You could go to jail. If you hit something, it's gonna cost you hella money. It's just not worth it. If you're ever gonna do it, always, always use text to speech like hey Siri text digital he's annoying your message to digital says he's annoying it's so easy oh I always wondered this if you are caught in a riptide our instinct is to swim directly back to shore this is not what you want to do oh, interesting so you want to swim back and then out to shore or swim parallel to the shore until you feel the water going back towards the beach don't ever try to swim into the top tide life hacks from solid snake if you ever get some scrape or cut when you're out in the wilderness and the forest don't Wash it in the lake or river. Unless it's like a glacial river and the water is like hella clean. I took a bath and brushed my teeth in that. But you can't do that with any lake or river because they're dirty and you could get an infection. So just don't risk it. You don't have rubbing alcohol, just wrap it up real tight. Life hack. A lot of you guys don't know this, but in the back of a lot of cars, there's a first aid kit. Sometimes it's like hidden like inside like a secret compartment. But almost everybody I know has like a first aid kit in their car. And it's got band-aids, it's got bandages, it's got antiseptic wipes. Got everything you need for your boo-boos, okay? So if you're ever in an elevator and someone's trying to pull a John Wick on you and you don't know how to fight or you just want to get the heck out of the elevator, press as many buttons as you can, as fast as you can. Like someone on an elevator with you threatening you or like you just want to get out as soon as possible. Just, just like Elf. Yes, it'll get you out as fast as possible. And also, once the elevator opens, there could be like witnesses to help you out. You feel me? Unless it's like the whole mafia versus you in an elevator. Ooh. Rest in peace, my friend. Life hacks can't help you with that. What is this? Play the find a bad guy game. See, I don't go through my content before I like do the video. We gonna find out what this is together. So this is a fun little game that can keep you safe. When there are many people around, take a good look at them. Who seems to be too nervous, too angry? too frightened. Okay, it's just a really bad name for this. But whenever you're in a public place, I feel like anywhere, you gotta always be aware of your surroundings. You gotta look around. Make sure you know like what's going on around you. Make sure people aren't up to anything suspicious. You feel me? Like I always do this. Like whenever I'm anywhere, I always look around. Like what, what's this person doing? What's this person doing? What are you looking at? What you got in your pocket? You look a little sketchy. You look a little sweaty. You look like you've seen some sh And if you don't feel comfortable like looking around, wearing sunglasses always helps like I never really look at people unless I wear sunglasses but I'm almost always wearing sunglasses so yeah blacked out ones help because you can look at everything and everyone and no one will know no one will suspect a thing like it's so funny when somebody's like looking at me and I have sunglasses and I'm looking at them and I can clearly see them looking at me and they have no idea because they can't see my eyes you can't see me stupid oh this one's for me I am just now learning this never go up or down the stairs with your hands in your pockets this is simply a recipe for 
for disaster and it doesn't taste very good so this is why it always happens to me because I don't grab onto the handrails because you know germs ill I'm kind of a germaphobe so you know whenever I go downstairs I don't touch the railing but I also fall downstairs a lot I wasn't sure how it happens but I, I usually always have my hands in my pocket or I'm on my phone you know you gotta be careful when you're going downstairs you gotta have your hands to stop yourself that's one thing falling down one or two stairs but you're saving yourself from falling down the whole flight of stairs you feel me but anyways that's all for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did and learned something new make sure you hit that like button in the and comment below let me know which one of these is the most useful that you would probably use in your life and make sure you subscribe join the wolf pack oh, and hit that notification bell in the face I love you guys so much thanks for watching bye guys